Good morning, my name is Alex Rosa and I'm Matt Nielsen and today we are here at the Gothenburg Learning Center to talk about corn tillers and Matt, when are the tillers supposed to show up in the plant? Sure, so typically the uh, tillers are supposed to show up about V6 on the corn plant now that's due to environmental conditions if they're great, they got adequate rainfall, you know, plenty of nutrients then they have enough support to send those nutrients out into support tillers um, that they have. Now, uh, in this study here, we went ahead and uh, on a dry land system, we have different populations between 12, 16, 20, and 24,000. And so we kind of took uh, percentages in those uh, different plots to kind of show you the amount of tilling that can happen with those populations. So Alex, with the two low populations, what did we see? Right, so at 12, thousand plants per acre we found that 55 percent of the plants evaluated had tillers now moving to 16,000 plants per acre this number drops to 30 percent of those plants uh, with tillers now what happens with the higher populations man sure so as higher populations go on typically what happens is when you have higher populations you have more competition with the corn plants and so they're not going to have as much nutrients as you would at a lower population in order to support, to support those tillers so when you have higher populations, you're going to typically see less or even none. So at 16, or at, sorry, at 20,000, we saw about 15% tillering. Now when we moved to 24%, we saw, at, you know, indicative of what we uh, were talking about, we saw 0% of uh, tillering. And now we have some plants that we dug out of here and to show you as a demonstration. And so with this, we can see we have one corn plant with two tillers. And as Alex is holding there, he has one plant with uh, one tiller. Now what we saw too within the plants, or excuse me, within the populations, is that tillering is very random. You know, we would think with 12,000 where we would have extra space, you know, maximum nutrients under good conditions that we would see the four to two tillers. But what we actually found was that when uh, you have those low populations that the tillering is actually random. There is no, you know, there is no uh, distinct clear why they do two or one. It just all uh, depends on, I would say, environmental conditions and things like that. It's just gonna be, pretty random across but uh sure well if you have any questions about corn tillers shoot us a message and thank you very much much for watching this video thank you thanks for watching this video from the gothenburg water utilization learning center for more information please call 308-537-4500